What is good YouTube? Today I got a very exciting whole video for you. Today's whole video will be from an estate sale auction. That I, I bought 15 lots at the auction. Some of the lots include more than one item, so I got way more than 15 items. And total for all 15 lots I paid $259. Uh, this is what I got here. You can pause the video to check the list. So I will be showing you each lot that I purchased. I got some cool stuff. It is all vintage, antique, and collectibles. Uh, this is how I started selling on eBay. So let me introduce myself. My name is Adam, aka Value Bliss. I sell online on eBay and Etsy and Amazon. And I specialize in vintage cameras. And I also like to sell collectibles. And I also sell lots of clothing items because these are easy to find and they sell fast too. So let me show you what I got. Let's get started. So the first lot, uh, I paid $2 for this one. This was just a miscellaneous lot. Uh, it has salt and sh uh, pepper shakers. These are horses. There's no mark on the bottom, but just because they're horses, they're pretty cool. So they can sell easy for 10 bucks a pair, maybe even more. Uh, also with this lot, another salt and, shake, salt and pepper shakers and owls. Uh, they have some uh, maker stamp on it. It's not a big deal. It has a USA on the back. Again, maybe 10, 15 bucks. Also with this lot, there were some uh, antique paintings. I think these are painted on canvas on the back there is a sticker it says uh, antique country painting niagara falls ontario this was all together for two bucks so this will be sell for ten bucks uh, and the last thing in the two dollar lot was this bag this is pretty cool here what i got this bag is full of the toy soldiers but these are Red and these are athletes. This is a running guy. This is a guy playing tennis, some gymnastics. There's all different sports in there. Uh, there's hockey, baseball. I think this whole Olympics. So I will have to do some research on these. I've been selling some of these singles for 10 bucks each. I had robots before and some cowboys and Indians. So I probably list them as a lot. I have to do research how much this is worth, but I got all these items I just showed you for two dollars together paid, plus taxes and plus auction fee. Auction fee is ten percent of the total value that you pay. Next item I got here, I got some model trains, and these are kind of big. They're vintage. I don't know if these work. Uh, so this is a locomotive, and that's a wagon for it. The matching set. It says American Flyer Santa Fe. I think this is an S scale. I don't know the maker. I have to do research. I did look up quickly on the phone. There was a set that had more items like, like this, but it's close to 300 bucks. I paid $25 for these two. I'm hoping I can get $100 for this. I'm heavy. Pretty cool. I'm gonna sell this as is. I'm also going to get antique books starting May 1st, so that's about in two, two weeks. So I also at this auction, I bought some stuff for the antique book and I might put these trains there uh, and see how that goes. If they don't sell quickly on the antique book, I just maybe lose them on eBay because I have had good uh, luck selling model trains on eBay in the past. Another item, next item here is some very interesting folk art. This is a metal rusting bell or chime. It has the American star and the American color. Somebody made it. It's like a homemade. Sounds like a ship bell or chime. This is a nice folk card piece. I paid twenty dollars for this. Uh, I could probably list this on Etsy for I think sixty to seventy-five dollars, maybe even more. Uh, stuff like this on Etsy sells very well, uh, so it's a nice piece. Uh, next item I want to show you is another lot. Uh, this is I paid ten dollars for paid ten dollars for this one. So this included a can, 
or some oil. Uh, sorry, <laughs> four star oil. I have no idea if this is worth any money. Maybe five bucks. It's dirty. I might have to clean the other stuff inside there. But I didn't buy the slot for the scan. They was actually included. The reason I bought the slot is because of these here, and these are old radio tubes. So I paid ten bucks for everything. Uh, I don't know if there's any good. I just bought them on the limb. I will research each one. They have boxes. I, I'm hoping I might get ten bucks a tube. Maybe some ones might be better. So maybe get more than ten. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. 12 tubes here, so hopefully I might be able to yield hundred dollars for this. Another item, uh, I got these uh, cups here. They're five five cups together. They're, each cup is different. Uh, I paid twelve fifty. That was the highest the bid plus the so the the price of the bid also you have to add taxes and ten percent. So about fifteen dollars. So this one says uh, husband on it. Some of them are marked Germany. This one's Germany. This one's Germany. The, the, the re I didn't, don't usually buy porcelain unless it's some very good English stuff. I bought these because these are special Max cups. And what's special about them is, is these have the mustache guard. So this is a mustache cup. So mustache cups should sell well. I, I think I could get $20 a cup. So this is for people with mustache, so when they drink, they can guard their mustache so it doesn't get wet. So there is five cups, and there is five different ones. So these are the two here. Um, show you the other three. This one's pretty fancy looking. Thing has says presents on it. They all look very pinkish and beautiful, like for women. But these are for men. These are mustache cups too. And this one says present on it. And has a little angel for the handle. This is pretty nice. Snow mark on the bottom. This one is nicely embellished with some gold and roses, flowers, and has a mark on the bottom that says Germany. So twelve fifty for all five cups. If I get twenty bucks a cup, that's hundred bucks. Another item. This was like, I think a great buy. Again, I just bought it. Just uh, took a risk. Uh, it's a box full of postcards, old vintage postcards, and there is also some stamps here. So this whole box cost me twelve dollars and fifty cents. Uh, uh, there are some stamps, Canada stamps. There, the the year on these stamps is. Uh, let me put the light here so you guys can see better. Uh, Nineteen seventy nine is the year on the stamp. So that's thirty seven years. There is a book of gold stamp bonds uh, and they, they have stamps inside, gold stamp bonds. I looked at this book up quickly. I was, was I done, it's not worth too much, maybe five to ten dollars for this book. Uh, I will not show you every single postcard that's in here, but there is some cool ones. It's all from Canadian. There's some US destination. This is pretty nice. This one is like a long postcard. Horizon, like a panorama. Uh, it's from the E Motel, and it, it's unposted. It's clean. Uh, there is a stamp that says "On the by Rogers and Berry." Sorry, no pets. Or no pets in this hotel. Look at the cars on this picture from the 50s. Pretty nice. Different size. There is the. Django Queen postcard, world famous, another vintage postcard. I don't know how many postcards are in here. There's another one from the e motel and a duplicate. I, I, I think there'll be over a hundred postcards here. Also, there's some food stamps that were in this box. I have I have to look these up. Uh Nabob Jams and Marmalade. There is some Nabob uh, Foods coupon, and there's a bunch of these in here. Uh, they, I don't think they're worth too, a lot of money, but I, maybe I can get $20 for this whole bunch, maybe more. I have to do research. I just came, came back from the auction, so I haven't done much research on these items. Uh, I will show you some more of the nice cool postcards here. Some of them are newer from the 80s. Um, Grand Canyon. So, the 
there is some US destinations. There is the bridge one. I know that the, the 80, 70 sports cars don't bring too much money. Uh, but I, I was looking through them and I saw some older ones. This is some weird photo. There's a picture of a bedroom and this one's posted. <laughs> Different. Um, Dominican Republic. Uh, Sugar Canes. Ireland. Uh, uh, there's some Caribbean stuff. Thank you. Uh, uh, Christie Estates. So what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna list them on eBay. I'm probably gonna list them individually at an auction starting at like $4.99 and put them on the auction. Uh, a Hawaii postcard and see, I, I think maybe half will sell at the auction. Hopefully maybe some will be going do better than the others. There's another Hawaii postcard. It's pretty nice. Uh, and the ones that don't sell on auction, that they they won't get any bids. I'm gonna lot some of them together based on theme, uh, and then list them in a lot. So this one here is uh, Casa Loma Toronto, and I think the stamp is, is posted, and the stamp on this one, the year is 1947. So it's a three cent stamp. Uh, Clipper Winnebago and it's signed by one of the crew members. Hawaii. There is a New York Woolworth building from New York, the older one. Uh, the date here, 1945. And it's like a paper, it's not even, it's a mat. Another 1944. Uh, University of uh, Teldo, Ohio. So I think these from the 1940s, these might be more more than five bucks. Uh, so uh, it's pretty cool, cool, cool lot. Uh, there is some New York City stuff here. A whole booklet, New York City. Uh, giant postcard, Niagara Falls. Um, doesn't say the year. There is some damage on the back. Giant postcard, there's some damage here. Uh, it's pretty nice though. Nice souvenir people might collect. Uh, and there is some another long postcard here at Panorama. Size three, different size. What else is in this box? I haven't even looked through this box like through everything. Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. And it's a booklet and it has pictures inside. So some of these items will be five dollar items, five ten dollar items, um, maybe some of them will be more. So invested 12, 50, 15 bucks in this, I think this will be a good return on investment. Um, I'm very happy and exciting about this lot. Check out how many bots are there in this. Cool bunch. Another lot I got, I think I paid ten dollars for this and I bought this one thinking about the antique mall. So I wanna put some vintage items in the antique mall for the decor. So I got all these three items together. So this was ten dollars. Uh, so these are some oil cans, the long pouch, and they have some folk art painted on them. Uh, this is a smaller one, it looks pretty cool, interesting, a bigger one. I'm gonna probably get twenty bucks and also came with the repro coca-cola tray the repro is gold on the back the vintage ones the older ones the tray coca-cola tray will have black back and will be heavier this is thin very light and has some dent five bucks for this tray just so quickly some people just want coca-cola stuff so ten bucks for everything should be 25 bucks here okay let's move on uh, so i got this brownie camera Art Deco, I paid five dollars for this camera, it works, the, the shutter clicks, the viewfinders here, and there is a side viewfinder, they're pretty clean, I have a look inside, uh, this is the Canadian version, five bucks is the bigger size, this should be a forty dollar item, and this is going to go in the antique book, uh, it's going to look nice, and this is like a bread and butter for me, these, 
brownies that are decode size. Another lot here was a, a lot of cameras. So there was one, two, three, four, four cameras all together in one lot. Again, nothing expensive. These are like $15, $20 cameras. This one probably going to donate the one tenth them. They are not worth anything, <laughs> maybe five bucks. This is maybe $25 camera with the flash, nice decoration item. I paid $10 for all of these four cameras, so these are two. And this is a Kodak Fiesta, haven't seen this one before, so it could be 30 bucks. And the Polaroid, these Polaroids are not worth much money, about 10 bucks. Uh, good thing about this one, it has the original box and case. The box has some damage on it, but it only has the box and case. I, if I list this for 10 bucks in the antique booth, I think 10 bucks will be gone. It's going to pay for all of these I paid together. Uh, next item, another lot of cameras. This one cost me $15. So this one has a Kodak. And again, these are inexpensive cameras, but they do sell. I sold them in the past. Kodak Instamatic X35. This is a $15 camera with the case. Uh, another one has a case here too, so that's nice that it has a case, and this is Ansco, this is uh, coming off the playback and glue it, and nice decoration piece, again, I'm guessing 15 to 20 dollars, uh, nice decoration items, they will look, look nice in the antique booth, and because they're not as expensive, I don't have to worry about people stealing it. And there's another one, the Ansco. This one's pretty cool. This one might be 40 bucks. Uh, clean, it has the case. Uh, you can attach the flash to this one here to the side. So, a nice decoration piece and pretty clean viewfinder. You will look down there and it takes, uh, that's how you take the picture. Uh, you can wind the film. It work. Yeah, it seems to be working. So, nice piece with the case, 40 bucks. 40, 30 bucks. This is a nice one. Uh, what else do I finally show you? Another lot I got here. This one I just, I don't even know why I bought this. There always happens, I buy always on the auction, these options, I always buy one or two things that I have no idea why I bid on it, but uh, hey, it, it happens. So, not so bad though. There is some books here, so Live and Literature. Book two says so. I don't have the book one, it has some damage. This just might go into the antique book, like a pocket book, so not much money in that. Uh, this one's pretty interesting. It's a locomotive book, uh, farewell number 636218. Uh, Royal Road stuff sells, but it's a small booklet, so I'm thinking about 10 to 5 bucks. And I paid 12.50, no, I paid seven dollars for this color. There's some dance book, so maybe it's five bucks again. Merry go around. Uh, interesting. So maybe five bucks. This is a Christmas 1986 Eaton's catalog or a book about Christmas from Eaton's Canada. Eaton's is a big retailer. I think it's already closed. But it's nice, it's clean, nobody used it. So this Christmas catalog could be something. Uh, Sentimental to somebody, somebody can buy this because they had it when they were younger. So this could be a $20 item. I will research this one, but from experience, I'm sure it won't more be more than 20 bucks. But you never know, it could be more. And the last book from this lot was the New World Atlas and Gazetteer 1926 edition. So it's pretty old, 1991 years old, has maps. So maps are good. And this is basically like a magazine. Back in the day, they would write about any subject, and this would come out. I don't know if this is an annual one once a year, but sometimes it would come out every quarter. So these atlases, depends on the condition, this one's not very, this is like acceptable condition, but it's old, so this should be about 20 to 15 dollars. So I bought this by mistake, this lot. I, I don't know why I bought it for seven, but. I should be able to make some money on it anyway. Another item that I purchased that I shouldn't have maybe, it was this train, uh, Karus train turnaround, or it, it, 
it has the box. I'll show you the box. And I don't know. I, th I think it's broken. I think it's missing gears and bits. Uh, so it looks something like this. So it's this this bit here. Uh, I paid ten bucks for it. But hey, I think I can I can offload it for ten or even maybe more. So no, didn't lose anything on that one. Uh, so next, I got also got some vintage electronics. Uh, oh, I don't know if they worth money or not, but they look like they're from the 70s. So I will show you. I will show you them. Pull the wiring. So one of them is it's a tape deck player. It's a Toshiba. Uh, made in Japan, so that's good. I don't know if it's 70s, maybe. I have to do research if it's what it's worth. Uh, I haven't tested them. There is still a tape inside. And this came from a house. It was an estate sale auction, so if it was in somebody's home, I'm pretty sure this is in working order. But I will test it. I paid $35 for the electronic slot, so I got three electronics. I got the tape deck, the receiver, and the turntable. So everything for $35. Uh, I'm hoping this could be like a 50 or even more uh, money. So the, ne the next electronic item here is the receiver. This is a Toshiba vintage receiver. Let me see. It says it was made, made in Japan. So that's good. Uh, maybe 100 bucks, maybe more. We'll see, maybe less. I will do research on it. I took a gamble on it, 35 bucks, vintage electronics, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm pretty sure I can make my money back and, and, and we can make some profit. And the last one is the turntable, and the turntable is not very exciting, uh, it's old, it's missing the bottom plate, you can see it out, it's a G Gerald syn synchronous motor. Uh, I don't know if there's any money in it, if I will do some research, maybe 10 bucks on Antigua. Book. Or I would just put it in the electronics waste bin. So let me check if I show. I think I showed you everything already. Um, well, one more thing. I so I also bought two boxes of LPs. So each box has about 50 LPs in it, and I haven't even looked at them before I was bidding on them. And the, the two boxes I bought for two dollars, so I pay a buck a box. I paid one dollar for fifty LPs. Uh, so I will not show you the boxes; they're heavy. I just picked up two LPs from them, and just to show you some of the money makers that I found in them. So here is the first one, Elton John. This is thing called the forty-five, maybe ten bucks. So this will already make me five times the money I paid for the box. There's another. 45 Christmas, do they know it's Christmas? Look at that art on this cover. The art is pretty cool. Christmas stuff sells. I'm taking 10 bucks. I don't know. I would do research on those records. There is a another LP, Happy Birthday Pad. And this one is like a postcard LP. It's soft. Uh, and it's happy. it has the Happy Birthday song on it. And I guess for a person who has named Pat. So another 10 bucks. This will go on eBay, uh, easy to ship, and hopefully somebody named Pat will be looking for one of those. And here are some LPs. Uh, Farmyard Fun. This is kids, like a children entertainment record kit stuff sells LPs. So I have sold all of my Disney LPs that I had listed. Another one that was in that box was Chipmunk Punk. Punk. Uh, not, I don't know if it's worth any money, but it looks uh, this is a uh, cutting loose that cover alone is gonna bring me 10 bucks or more uh, so the art alone on the cover no matter what the music is on this will sell for the cover and this one another cool LP witchcraft and has the witchcraft lady has a black cat and a, here a skull so just the cover alone and and the and the the subject and the theme of witchcrafting. This is this might be twenty dollars item, unless there is lots of, of them online. But I still sell. I don't sell a piece for less than ten dollars plus shipping. Another one here, a cocktail LP with the drink 
alcoholic drink, uh, champagne. So quiche item, very high demand for this. This will sell quickly for 10 bucks as well. And uh, door story rhymes for kids. And um, there was also a Disney one. I, I, I think I left it in the book. Another one, Chipmunk's Phone Book for Kids. So um, in these LPs alone, I paid two bucks. If I get 10 bucks each, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hundred dollars. Plus all the other IPs still in the box. Even so, I could sell them back a piece at the antique booth. So that was a good good buy for those all those old pieces. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, one more item, big item that I got for the antique booth. I almost missed it. This was, this one I paid. I think the most money. Whoa. Paid the most money. Nothing happened. Just the uh, oil cans fell down. So they're all good. And this is a big one. This is a milk can. So this goes for the antique booth for decoration. I gonna it's gonna be for sale. I paid twenty-seven dollars for this plus tax plus fees about thirty dollars. Uh, I'm gonna be asking sixty bucks at the antique booth. Uh, pretty cool, cool item. I would not have bought it if I didn't have the antique booth because that's very difficult to ship and shipping would cost more than the item itself, so it will be hard to sell. And that's everything that I have to show you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting more videos about sourcing auctions, thrift stores, garage sales. Now the season's in for garage sales. Uh, I'm also going to be doing how-to videos and show you how to do photos, how I do it, and, and, and how to do shipping for Canadians. Uh, I've been selling on eBay for three years, and I want to share with you the things I learned to make you a better reseller. Thank you, and ciao, thank you for watching.